What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. All right, before I get started, I want to remind you about my comedy club, The Laugh House. We have shows every week on Saturdays in English and Swedish. We have open mic, we have karaoke nights, we have Svartskala Sundays, we have the Hastoria for different theme shows. So go to thelaughhouse.se to check out everything that's going on at my club and uh, say what's up when you come by. Um, if you want dates and information about gigs that I'm doing, go to bashdaddyentertainment.com and you can see all of my show dates. I'll be all over the place pretty soon, so uh, come laugh with me. Let's get started. It's time for today's reaction. The song for today is Host Day A Ya Undervar by Patrick Isaksson. I'm looking forward to this. I really like the title of the song because I feel like I can relate to it. I feel like my wife makes me feel like I'm wonderful when we're together. So I'm hoping that that's the theme of this song. You know, you make me better as a person. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. A little bit about the song. It was released in 1999 on the album Nervekligheten Tränger Sig Poa which translates to when reality intrudes. Ooh, it really, uh, I don't know about that title. I like the title of the song more than I like the title of the album. Seems like a little clunky as an album title, but whatever, we're not judging titles, we're judging songs. The song peaked at number five on the Swedish charts. This is his uh, second top 10 single on the same album. That album was his breakthrough album. From what I saw, Patrick E. Saxon is known as a singer, songwriter, musician, this guy is loaded with talent, according to what I was reading, so I'm looking forward to that. He participated in Melody Festival in twice. As far as I understood, he didn't make it out of his rounds. I'm thinking the irony would be if, if this song helps me write my mellow song and I do make it out of my round, I think that could be really cool. Maybe Patrick has my back in my fight towards my goal of making a Swedish classic. Patrick has released six albums between 1999 and 2011. I'm really interested in hearing the early years of Patrick Isaksson, his first initial sound on his breakthrough album. So I got my lyrics right here so I can read along as I listen. And uh, here is Host Day Eya Underbar by Patrick Isaksson. Okay, uh, I want to say that I wasn't ready for the song to have this much tempo to it. I thought it was going to be more of a ballad, but um, I like where we're going. He's still like, uh, you know, kind of, he's, he's still like emotional in his singing, but the beat is like, let's go. Okay, I'm liking this ride so far. Okay, Patrick, I see what you're doing. It's got that feel too of that, uh, the millennium when we went from the 90s to the 2000s. It's got that vibe in it. And uh, I like it. It's got like, it's a little bit like, you could hear this at the end of the night at the club. I could see that being played uh, at that time. But let's go, let's, let's see what else. I 
Man, the lyrics in this chorus is they're so good. They're so good. Uh he sounds a little uh a little vindictive though. Like he, he ain't like how she did him, but I really like it in the lyrics. This is a it's a deep, deep song, man. Okay, okay, that was host day and you're in the bar. I'm a little confused with that. Like it seemed like he's talking. The video kind of. I saw the the last part of the video, and I didn't get to watch much of it. But it seems like he was on the train with the ex, leading towards the next. And then the ex is like, oh, you're wonderful, but he's gone on to somebody who made him better. That's my uh, interpretation, so let me know if I'm wrong about that. I really like it. Uh, uh, I love the lyrics, the layers of the song. The, there was that bridge towards the end, um, because they didn't do like a final verse, they just did the chorus over after that bridge. But, um, the bridge was so nice with the with the the lady kind of chanting, the lady voice kind of chanting um, as the music kind of was like a, it was like a river <laughs> of music. It was just uh, uh, nice and 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 calming before the big storm of the final uh, set of choruses. I really really liked it, and uh, there was like strums of a guitar that I liked in there too throughout as it was building up. Really, really, really good song. If you're wondering, yes, it's a banger. It's a banger. This one's up there with uh, the combination of depth and pop that it had um, is really fun for me instead of being like a empty pop song or a deep kind of boring song. It's got the depth and the pop. So nice, really nice. Good job, Patrick E. Saxon. So that was that. I want to thank you for watching this video and uh, any other reactions that you've seen. You can go back, I've done over 100 now. You can check out all the reactions that I've done to Swedish classics. The next classic that I'll be doing is a, a classic that's written in English, performed by a Swedish group called Weeping Willows. And the song is called Broken Promised Land. 
So I'm looking forward to that. That one will be easy to follow along because it's in my native language. I've been kind of hard on the writing on the English songs, but whatever, I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get notifications, all that jazz, and uh, spread the word. Let people know about this American comedian living in Sweden, reacting to classic Swedish songs. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next classic. Peace.